All right, this will be the trade recap from January 23rd. Um, just going into the pre-market plan, still in this uptrend. Um, and this week, at least since Monday, the market has been in this balance, the short-term balance between this um, this 4890 level and this 4875 level. <clears throat> so within these two boxes, this gray box and this gray box, I'm first watching for short-term balance extreme reversals, meaning longs in here, shorts down here, or shorts up there. And then some other moves I was watching were if uh, this level could hold and break above to play a move targeting the all-time high. That's this move. And then a move to the downside if this level breaks. And now going into um, the actual trades. Uh, the first one we took near open, so I'll just go through that. The market opened right here um, in that upper zone that we were talking about and put in, had a strong rejection, put in some intraday supply uh, and rejected almost down to the lower zone we were talking about before kind of chopping and moving back and forth. And at this point in time right here, when we're chopping between 8.7 and... 8-1 in that little range. I'm getting ready to not even want to trade anymore for the rest of the day. Um, but then I, I was going to wait until 10.30 until I maybe got off. And then around here near 10.15, the market starts uh, testing this level again, this uh, resistance level that we're watching, and also this intraday supply level. And that's when I get my entry. So if we look at that, okay, so I'm watching this zone, like we said, um, price gets up here and I start looking for a short entry. And the reason I got short was first, okay, first here's the initial supply that I was talking about from this rejection right here. Uh, you can see the market just completely swept right there. Um, with large selling on either side showing that this is very aggressive selling here and the retest to this level uh, could provide another rejection and then when we come up to that level what the market showed me was this I saw buying failing up at that level and selling attempts start to get aggressive and on this attempt right here when buying failed and selling came in I got short shortly after buying failed on its next attempt, selling came in again, and I eventually got um, some good push downward with this candle a few minutes after my entry. Market retested, and I um, I held my stop at break even, and the move I was looking for was a break of this low of day level into um, this range to get out, and. Well, at this point, new low of day, I was watching the break from from this. And when this level broke, uh, I exited. Ended up getting eight points on that trade. Um, it was 2R, exactly. I was risking uh, four points on that. Um, yeah, good trade. All right. Then... Okay, so I'm, I'm out my short here, and then I noticed that, um, or no, I'm not really watching at this point. Um, we get a little bit of a bounce out of this support level, this demand, and then come back into it, and I noticed that the uh, market is really slowing down near the low. Um, it's kind of aggressive here coming into this level and down near just the bottom of the zone right here that we're talking about. Um, price starts to kind of consolidate and slow down. If we look at that on a more zoomed in time frame, you can see that there was some selling absorption going on. So at these tests of the lows, there were aggressive sellers coming in, yet um, that level held and buying continually came in to push the market higher after. As you can see, there's aggressive buying right there. 
And when I saw this absorption and then this aggressive bind I actually got in, um, it was somewhere around here. Yeah, it was right here. This is where I got in. And then when I started seeing some selling come in, I got scared and exited early. Right at the very, very bottom of this candle. I manually exited that at six, seven, six point five, which was the bottom of this candle. And then buying started coming in again. And I got in with my same exact entry right here when buying came in here and defended this negative delta level, which I'll talk about. Um, if you look on the tape, this kind of 77.75 through 74.40 level had heavy negative delta. Um, that kind of added to my thesis down here, that heavy negative delta was being put in. Lots of sellers that were becoming trapped as they were getting absorbed down there. And then when buying was able to claim above this with that aggression that I showed on the book map, I got in. And then what happened was the market came down and retested this level and bounced perfectly from it, which um, is another really good entry signal if I didn't get that first one, which I did end up uh, closing anyway. Um, but overall, I could have just stayed in this trade with my original entry, and I ended up costing myself nearly two points. It was like 1.75. And I think I just wasn't prepared enough for this entry. Uh, I should have had a, a better plan, I guess, to not get out early like that. Um, but whatever, I, I cost myself a little bit of points on that. Um... And then the other key thing was on the depth of market, we also had heavy uh, positive delta at this 8.5 through 8.675 level. And when price got up to that level, it had a hard time breaking through. As you can see, this is the five minute chart. My entry is all the way back here, exits all the way up here. Um, but we started rejecting from this 8.5 level. And that was a bit of a red flag for this trade. But at this point, my stop was at break even down here. So as all these rejections were happening, I was just just following my plan. Um, but that was something I was watching out for. And it did. I was watching for this level to reject being a possible red flag. And it was, but um, the trade ended up eventually working out anyway. You can see that on a larger time frame book map. Uh, here's that. Um, Resistance coming in at the eight fives before pushing higher and then one other thing I forgot to talk about was those retests of the negative Delta um, So there were a few times when After entry we came down and tested this range and the seven six level held every time which was very key given that it was uh, kind of the The bottom portion of this negative Delta region But that was another thing I was watching um, for that to hold during the trade. And the final thing I'll say about this is I was targeting the 8.8 level, which was just the zone right here. And the whole trade, I was going to be patient for it, even when we came up here and started rejecting. And then a candlestick before the 8.8 was triggered, I closed the position because I let myself get scared and talk myself out of it. And I closed the position manually right here before... Uh, being, you know, four, four ticks higher minutes later. Um, but I still got eight points on that. I'm going to call it, you know, I got 7.75. So it's, I'm going to call it six after that mishandled entry. Um, so that was a really good trade um, idea and thesis. However, execution was off a bit. I cost myself at least two points on around, I should say two points on either end. So that could have easily been um, a trade with four more points. But yeah, solid solid trade taking what we talked about in the pre-market plan. First thing on my list was short-term balance extreme reversals. This is my lower balance extreme, this is my upper balance extreme. We played a short-term or a short, short reversal in the morning 
and we played a long reverse on the afternoon. Um, pretty simple. Uh, ending the day with two trades, two wins, 14 points gain, and then this is just the trading view to show that I actually entered and exited. There's that uh, mishandled entry, and then there's that actual entry. All right.